what is up jokesters this is your big homie jokesta bringing you guys a video about movements for call of duty mobile there are some excellent videos out there on how to have better movements but there's at least three huge mistakes that most of them make number one they only teach you what you need to do instead of how to do it number two they say the movement isn't that important just slide bro and jump around and slide and number three, they don't offer any techniques to achieve the right movement. Don't worry, I got your jokesters covered. Hit that like button and subscribe with the bell icon so you guys can get alerted whenever I upload a brand new video and my new tips and trick videos coming along. So let me know in a comment down below what you guys wanna learn next. Let's talk about the movements. This little guy on the very bottom left is a joystick. There's something that you need to know. You can walk or you can always run. There's an option for always running. There's a problem with that. You see, going to left or right, it gives you like a like a stop or a pause while you're moving around, and that's a problem. Step one is figuring out what works best for you. Does always sprint option better suited for you or is sprinting manually better for you? So what I found out, manually sprinting is way better for me and I'm able to get into fights better and I'm ready to escape whenever I fail my sniper shot. A lot of pros right now, they're struggling with that and they have always sprint on. They don't really understand that, you know, there's this little bug right there, but they kind of get used to it in a way. So this is just a personal preference. This is one of the things that I've noticed that a lot of people have problems with. So I, I suggest you probably turn that off by manually sprinting. Step two. Adjust your joystick. A lot of people always accept whatever their joystick size is. I've been playing mobile games for over 10 years and I've always adjusted my joysticks. I've adjusted every single time I've played, you know, Modern Combat, Critical Ops, all these games. And joysticks was one of the things that a lot of people had struggled with. They don't always take a closer look at the size of their joystick. You wanna make sure you don't have a super large button Make sure it's around 40 to 90%. Find out what works best for you. What I found interesting was that the smaller the button is, the more comfortable you can stray from left to the right and right to the left because when you have a smaller button, you can quickly move your thumb to the left or to the right. It isn't that much to move with your thumb and it requires less work. Step number three, fix joystick. A fixed joystick is when your joystick is in place and doesn't move. The problem with that is your aiming down sight button. When you have your fixed joystick off, your aim down sight button doesn't move around and it's a lot easier to use. When you have fixed joystick on, your aim button moves around as well and as well as your thumb for aiming. Now this becomes a problem because you depend on your thumbs for aiming, not your index finger. Now, if you're a thumb player that loves using just thumbs, this feature might benefit you better. It will suit you better in game. Before we move on to movements, you need to understand that when you do the slides and jumping around, you need to have your crosshair fixed. Otherwise, you won't be able to get your movements right. Pay close attention to my crosshair placement. It's not all fantastic and high aim. It's, it's not. It's placed more on the floor. I'm used to players in the higher ranks sliding in front of me all the time and, and this is the reason why my aim is bit down most of the time. Anyways, we're getting off topic here. So as you can see, I'm moving around with my crosshair. Try to avoid looking directly down. Try to look more at the center. It will take time and you will need to remind yourself to do this a lot. Sometimes players like me forget and we don't realize it until it's too late or until we hit Utopia. All right, now we're gonna move on to more of an advanced topic. This is about sliding and jumping. So the simple way to start is to learn how to jump around. First of all, learn to jump and aim in at your target. This is a simple way of doing it. So just try to jump and aim. Don't do anything else, just practice jumping and aiming. Once you get this locked down, the second step is to slide, turn to the left or right, and then jumping and aiming at the same time. Now, this is where also claw players, the people that like to play with four fingers, maybe if you're just using thumbs, you need to also learn to jump and slide. 
as well. So ADS is very important, which is aim down sight. So make sure you're aiming down sight as well after you jump. So to keep that in mind, make sure your crosshair is at the right spot. Step number three is a bit harder. It's basically double jumping instead of one jump. Just going to mention it anyways, you just basically need to run, then a slide, aim at your target while you're jumping. You then need to jump again after you land that first jump. So it's like a double jump after sliding, and I don't really see many players do it, but when they do, they put a lot of work into that movement. It takes a lot of energy to do it every time, and I don't really recommend this move because of that. Step number four is double jumps and double slides. Basically like step number two, you just need to slide, jump, and do that again. The more you do it, the better you get. It all just comes down to timing and your jumping and sliding. Step number five is sliding in front of your opponents. Let's say that you really can't move anywhere and you're in a very tight situation where you can't, there's not many spots left, there's just, you're in a room or somewhere like that, and your only option is to slide in front. So what most pros do is they slide right in front of you and they do a little bit to the left or to the right and it's sometimes they add their moves like jump shoot right after their slide which is very useful. This comes down to practicing a lot. So the more you practice sliding in front of someone, the better you get, you add your style to it. So don't be afraid of doing some crazy spins or sliding and getting behind your opponents and then taking them out. This is gonna be taking some time to practice, but you're kind of getting the idea of how to do it. Here's some jumping practice that you guys can try in your game. You need to slide and jump and keep on clicking that jumping button. After you slide, Keep spamming that button. As you can see, I'm just sliding and then jumping. One thing to note is that you need to work on your timing when you jump. You have to time it correctly. Now in this clip, I'm also using that move with an extra work. I'm sliding, jumping, and then sliding again, and it's becoming more of a timing now. If you keep sliding and jumping and doing the same process over and over, it will slow you down. And I have to say it's best to do at least two slides and two jumps. That's about it. Next up, practice jumping around. What I usually do is jump around and try to get on top of things. This helps you practice your movement as well. Try to go on different maps and just jump around. This is a clip of me on firing range practicing my jumping move. Master your moves. Make sure you can do it without making so many mistakes. Another thing to keep in mind is that you can also slide down the stairs and up the stairs. I don't know why Call of Duty did that, but they're allowing us to slide up the stairs. <sighs> but okay, moving on. Practice jumping on top of them. As you can see, I'm jumping on top of the block here and jumping on the stairs and then jumping off of it. The more you do, the better you get. Also, maps like Kill House is a perfect place to jumping around. There's a few windows that you can practice jumping around in and out. Practice your sliding as well. Another thing that I wanted to mention is a perk is also something that you can use to help you increase the speed. For example, Lightweight. Lightweight is a perk that helps you out with your faster movements. Now, you don't really need to use it, but if you want, you can and it's a little bit faster movements you know it's uh it helps out a lot as well so a little recap first step is fix your joystick and this meaning like turn off fixed joystick if you're a claw player if you're a thumb player turn on fixed joystick and also adjust your joystick because a lot of people like to have a big joystick so just make it smaller and then the second step was to work on your crosshair placement for movement so like if you're sliding around you have to also have a really good crosshair place because you can have it all over the place and not do a really good slide and aim and it's gonna be a lot harder there's a lot of people that struggle a lot with sliding and aiming and they just don't have it corrected and it's because of the crosshair placement you have to have a correct crosshair placement whenever you're sliding step number three is work on your sliding and jumping i talk about the whole entire thing you know like the advanced setup, try to practice your sliding and jumping. I highly recommend you guys do the fourth step, which is sliding and jumping, sliding and jumping, double those. So those are really important because I see a lot of people going into fights and they don't slide and jump. So work on those. 
Step number four is practice your sliding and jumping on other maps, especially Kill House. Kill House is really, really good for sliding and jumping out of windows. As you guys can see, like the whole entire gameplay of this whole entire video, I was sliding and jumping out of Kill House and I highly suggest you guys try out Kill House. So the fifth one is try using lightweight and this is a recommendation from me. I really recommend people that are trying to start off having a better movement, definitely try out lightweight. Now, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, share the video. It helped me out a lot. I put a lot of time and effort into this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what next tips and tricks that you guys want to see and I'll be happy to make them. Thank you jokesters for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.